Hey y'all, good rising. As y'all can see, I'm up cooking, cooking oatmeal for my baby before. Hey y'all, good rising. As y'all can see, I'm up cooking, cooking oatmeal for my baby before we start our school lesson. I just thought this was the perfect time, y'all. This is gonna be a short, short video. Um, I don't know where we are. Where are we? Um, we in Kansas, I think South. West Kansas. I have no idea where we are. We only been here today, y'all. I just wanted to come over here and do an update because so many people have been asking me about my bed. So I'm gonna show y'all right now. She laying down, y'all. Ada is still asleep, y'all. Let me let me stir my oatmeal, y'all. Look, look how easy it is to cook. Look, I got a perfect little space. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you the bed. Ada laying down. Do not mind Ada. Sorry, y'all, if I am super duper close in this video. Sorry if y'all hear me clinking the pot. I don't want my oatmeal to stick to the bottom. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of people been asking me about my bed slash couch and what it looks like when it's laid down and how it works. So y'all, as y'all see, see back there. Mm-hmm. Then my reflectives that I finally got from Menards a couple states ago. But yeah. So yeah, y'all. Um, I'm going to show y'all the bed. The bed is fairly easy to put up and down. It fit pretty good. Um, I like the bed most. I got it from Target. It's a Target futon. I think it was like $89 when I bought it. It could have been $99, but I think it was $89 when I bought it. Because I am the sale lady. So, yeah, I got it from Target. Not that expensive. It did come with legs. I did not use the legs. And it also had, like, a weird board on the back that um that didn't go up and down with the rest of the futon. So, we kind of cut that off. When we cut that off, we did realize that it needed a little security. So, we made, like, a little... We just drilled those two parts together that we cut off. And we made, like, a little um stand for the bottom half of the bed to stand stand on on the bottom half of the couch to stand on so yeah i'm about to turn this camera around y'all do not don't even mind at her because she is like i said she knocked out so let me show you the bed so this is the bed set up um because i'm in the van and i'm just cooking and i just thought about it but okay so that side that Ada land on is normally the back of the couch and then when it let down this is the part of the couch that you sit on. And it just turned into a nice little bed. Me and Ada both fit on there perfectly. We little people, so we don't need that much space. But yeah, that's how it looks with the bed down. So when the bed down, our whole back is took up by the bed. But we still got space. I'm going to go back here and show y'all. Like, let me fix my pillow. Because my pillow making it look like it ain't enough room. But see that? Like, we got space for two people. And then we still got this little space over there. So we put whatever we need over there and that's it. And then the refrigerator does not have to move because the bed, yo, I'm just showing y'all, the bed buds up perfectly against the cabinet. It does not need like any extra space. It just kind of worked out, y'all. The truth is we put the bed in here before we made the cabinet and then took the bed out and then made the cabinet with the bed not in. And it just perfectly worked out because we forgot to build the cabinet according to the bed but i think we kind of like eyeball where the bed go i have no idea but y'all it worked out but yes that is our bed we make our bed we do put sheets on it um so in the daytime when we get up like we about to get up right now and after breakfast we sort of make up the bed we put it back up to a couch we stuff all our bedding down in that cubby back there that i showed y'all was for our bedding and like i said the cubby has a lot of space so we just stuff our sleeping bags and our sheets and our pillows all down there out the way and then we back to our normal living room space right i mean yeah we back to our normal living room space y'all i hope this video was good i am so new at vlogging i'm new at doing videos like this so y'all bear with me i am not the best cameraman i know i ain't the best cameraman but i'm getting better and the more i do videos the more i think of new video ideas so like i said y'all i was just up this morning cooking out of some oatmeal as y'all saw and her blueberries is in the front because i didn't put them in the freezer i actually just put them on the dashboard because it was going to be um, I think about 30 last night. So I just put them on the dashboard. 
and let them stay cold like that because she liked the juice on her oatmeal she liked the blueberries and the juice she whatever that's how she liked it so so yeah y'all i hopefully y'all got to see our bed pretty good as y'all can see it is definitely enough space for me and ada matter of fact i'm gonna flip the camera around one more time just so y'all can see the bed set up and i might insert a picture of how it how it looked normally just so y'all can see the comparison because the bed take up the back space so i'm gonna flip the camera around again for y'all so yeah that is the bed set up right there i wish i could get to the tip so yeah right there so see the the bed butt up against the cabinet so it butt up against the cabinet and yeah so that's the bed set up y'all fairly simple didn't take that much thought at all fairly simple target came through with the futon but like i said the target futon does have like a like a board on the back for stability that does not fold up and down we had to cut that off so that when we put the bed up into a couch it can bud flat up against the car wall so yeah y'all that's it good rising we are about to get to breakfast so we can get to our school lesson and we will talk to y'all later all right peace y'all we love y'all many blessings thank y'all so much i cannot thank y'all enough for the support for the comments for the feedback for the knowledge that y'all been sharing thank y'all so 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 much thank y'all so much for all of it oh and people was asking me how to support listen I will leave my cash app below. And if you want to support, give any donations, we appreciate it all. We appreciate all of it from the love, the knowledge, all of it. We even appreciate the ideal that people want to send us donations. Like, that is such a blessing. Y'all are such a blessing. When I say that this van life community and people that support the van life community, y'all are amazing. Amazing. And it's so, you know what? I'm in so many different communities, like, for real, like, you know, being a woman and the support you get from women is amazing, but it is so amazing to be in so many different amazing communities, like, they are all blessings, so I thank y'all, I love y'all for the support, thank y'all so much, like I said, I am new at this vlogging thing, so I'm learning as I go, and some parts of our trip I might have missed and I didn't add, just because I'm learning as I go. I'm not used to recording everything I do, y'all. I'm a Bible study recorder. I'm used to doing a Bible study and getting on and getting off. So it's new for me to be recording our journey, to be recording everything I do. It's new to me to remember to record. So y'all, if I missed something or I didn't share something that y'all want to know, y'all just send me a, shoot me a comment Leave it down below. Let me know what else y'all want to see, y'all. I got more videos, too, because I know y'all asked a lot. And so I will be delivering those videos for y'all. But, yeah, so that's our bed set up. Fairly easy. Um, in the night, we still got a little space to come up and use the bathroom. I call it my um i call it our suite because our bathroom is connected ada said no our bathroom is in our bedroom so yeah anyway y'all so yeah we still got a lot of little space as y'all can see with the bed let down she laying down and i'm cooking so it really works out i hope this video helped y'all to see our bed set up and how we doing tonight look Look, yo, I got reflectives. I'm really like a vanner. Like, like I'm a van lifer, y'all, because I got reflectives. But, yeah, so, anyway, this is our nighttime set up, and we love y'all, and we thank y'all so much for the support. And until next time, peace. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love y'all.